Top Tips for Effective Revision Now, there is no shortcut to exam success, but making the most of your study time can make a big difference to your grades. Take a look at the Effective Revision Guide to help you get on track. Firstly, you need to make a plan. Being organized can reduce exam stress and help you make the best use of your time. Now, there are a lot of ways you can do this. Use a school-style timetable or calendar printout, or get creative with color coding and post-its. If you use a spreadsheet, you may find it's worth having a paper copy too. Then, what you need to do is mark in your exam dates and subjects. Divide your list of topics across each week of your revision period. Make sure each topic comes before the date of the relevant exam. Now, be sure to allocate fewer topics near to your exam date to allow for general review sessions. Use these to go through all of your revision notes. Now, you need to create a more in-depth schedule at the start of each week, complete with free study and rest blocks. Scope out your timetable for the next day and detail the night before. This makes it easier to adjust your plans depending on your progress. Number 2. Divide your day into chunks. 20 minutes, half an hour, two hours, divide your day into pockets of time that work best for you. Mixing things up can also help create a sense of pace. Try an hour session followed by two shorter ones to stop you getting sluggish, and it's a great way to tackle tasks you tend to put off. Set the clock ticking, even for a short while, and really get to grips with a tricky subject. The results can be very, very surprising. Number 3. Assemble your toolkit When exams approach, it can be easy to master the art of putting things off. Gather everything you may want now to avoid delays when your need for a stapler, paper clip, or even a purple pen overtakes your ability to do anything else. Get all your files and books together, and make sure you're stocked up with all the basic supplies such as folders, notebooks, erasers, pens, and pencils. Number 4. Plan your day around your most productive times are you an early bird or a night owl? You may be most alert in the morning or work better in the evenings. Tackle difficult topics at the most effective point of your day. Recognize and respond to your slump times. If you find it hard to get going after lunch, well, create a sense of progress with a series of shorter blocks in the early afternoon. Number 5. Manage your distractions. Everyone has them. Those little temptations that suck you in and take up chunks of your precious time, then the secret is to build your routine around your distractions. Set fixed times to check your phone or social media accounts and stay offline when you're working. Now, for example, for some reason you find yourself strangely drawn to a particular daytime TV program and you feel like you're going to lose interest after the exams are over, then plan your break time to fit them. Number 6. Shake things up. Use a range of learning styles. Try making notes using headings and bullet points or draw diagrams and charts. Some people find it helpful to create revision cards or use visual cues such as posters or post-its. Reading your notes out loud or even making an audio recording which you can play later on can also improve your memory power. Number 7. Consider where you study. Find somewhere comfortable, light, and distraction-free. Sometimes, a change of scene can boost concentration. Try spending the morning in your school or local library, or working in a different room at home, but you may find it more effective to study in a set place. Experiment and see what works best for you. Number 8. Think quality, not quantity. It's not the amount of time you spend studying that counts, it's how you use it. Don't waste time pretending to revise. Far better to spend three focused hours working and an hour meeting a friend than to be glued to your desk for four hours straight with very little to show for it. You still need to put in the hours, but spending them wisely and planning some proper breaks makes for more effective revision. Number 9. Review your progress. It's important to review your revision plan to ensure you're making the most of your time. You may find a topic more tricky than you thought and you need more time to study. Or you might find yourself finishing a topic with time to spare. 
If you fall behind, you can't do four weeks of revision in two weeks, so prioritize whatever time you have, ticking things off as you go or setting mini goals and rewarding yourself when you finish them. Last but not least, number 10, avoid burnout. Pacing yourself is important. You can't revise effectively 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so breaks and rest periods are essential to staying the course. Giving your mind a well-earned rest and spending time doing something that you enjoy can make a real difference when you return to revising. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure having you all here. If you haven't already, click the subscribe, bell, and like button. And also share your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Have a great day and a fantastic one, everyone. Goodbye.